Oh, hey. Hey. <laughs> John and Nat are taking the place. That's great. Mm. I would offer to cook breakfast tomorrow to celebrate, but apparently I'm having brunch with Lucy and my dad. A sentence I never thought I would say. Does sound a little strange. It's glad she got out when she did. Yeah, me too. And that we can finally close the chapter on Allie Alston. What? What? Allie didn't have the pendant. Then who does? Hey, how was your first day? It was good. Um, it was good. Mr. Holloway was happy, so. What took you so long to get home? Well, I promised Candace I would walk her home. No, no. You are either at the house or at the store. Anywhere else, you need our permission. Understood? Sure. Okay, upstairs. That was a bit harsh for just walking his girlfriend home at night. If that's where he really was. I doubt he's lying, Clark. The problem is he's getting really good at it. I am mad too, but trust me, do not let this go on for too long, okay? Back already. Look at me. How was I supposed to explain this to Sarah? I barely snuck in here. Look, dude, um, I'm really sorry I made you miss it. Why didn't you just tell me it was Candace, man? I don't know. I I already felt bad enough lying to mom and dad, and I just didn't I didn't feel that it was like fair to put that on you, you know. I can handle it. I didn't want to shut you out. I then don't. Come on, we're the fraternals, remember? <laughs> I know you love this apartment, but am I gonna stay in my place tonight? I'd love for you to see it. I have guest room. I have fresh ice cream. You, you used to. Dad, are you okay? Yeah, I'm just, all of a sudden, I'm, I'm tired. Yeah, sorry. I was sort of the fail-safe in case things didn't go according to plan. Why? To make sure Allie gets to the other side. I'm sorry. <laughs> 